So it would appear what I'm needing is a new a new battery. Either that or a new phone. No, I'm actually really needing a new phone. Cause that just cut off strangely. I don't know why. But I've I've a feeling it's because it's it's it is it's the battery is just going down really quickly when I use when I go like online without any direct power supply connected to it the whole time. So which is a bit of an annoying thing, so it's, it's a decent enough phone, but yeah, I think it's time for an upgrade. So, I think tonight, once I've uh, done my stuff, I shall look for an upgrade. Now, on the previous video, I was doing a thing about I don't know why I did that. <laughs> That's a lot of things I don't know why I do. There's a nice lane for Rosie. And there's... Um, anyone's a fan of a certain soap opera. Get out of my pub. <laughs> yeah, just about there. Taking a bit of a detour actually. Hands are freezing. I think I've said that about 20 times in my last video, but yeah, going live is a bit, um, it's, yeah, it's a bit, it must be something to do with the battery core. Do you, you can't even get your hair cut. I'm wearing my mask like a good citizen. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> nah, you don't have to wait outside, although I think that'll be the next step. Do you just love how busy it is here? A shop called Oxygen. No idea what that's all about. Nice plant shop if anyone wants any flowers. Shop's close to the public. Ain't the air a shock? I heard a beep. We are open. Bet you're not. So, there's my reflection. Do, 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 do. One thing we'll say, it does feel like it's quite, the air is pretty fresh, it's pretty, it's just okay, but um, I was saying to myself the other day, it would be nice to, to, I don't know, get home, when I say home, like down to my, my home area, further down south, nice. In the countryside, let's say we're banned from travelling outside local areas. You can't even leave the country. Well, you can't even go down to England, which is, unless it's essential travel. See, we're still getting a lot of oil workers coming up, and if they do want to come in from, say, overseas, they have to do this 72, 72 hour test, you know, to show that they, they, they're okay. But then, who's to see? They're not going to pick it up randomly on the way to the hotel. So I don't get it. But apparently, I think the way they're going to try and get around that is no matter, even if you've got a negative test, you still have to spend 10 days in quarantine if you're coming in from overseas. Plus, you have to spend £1,500. I think, regardless. And um, they're now talking about transferring a lot of the COVID patients to hotels. We've had that um, when that outbreak happened in the old folks' home, and I reckon we'll be one of our hotels will be used for it. I'm thinking probably Rosemount, but, but the last time it was the one I'm usually at, and uh, <laughs> you were told, do not 
go near certain places, you know, they do not touch door handles, they do not touch blocks. One of the workers decided to have, oh shit, that was close. <laughs> and that would have been a bit of interesting viewing. I would have edited that bit out. Nah, I would have kept it in. If there is actually a video of me somewhere on this channel of me falling downstairs and uh, I actually twisted my ankle in that video and I was in pain for about two weeks or something like that. It got old. It's actually not that bad. Oh, am I being followed? No. I'm not getting anything valuable on me. Well. No, I don't actually. Well, I suppose I do, but hopefully they don't know that. Oh, we have some people right, just about there. So what I tend to do is just like stop, have a little mini break before I start going. As I say, it's like back at ten, but it's fine. We'll see what delights the day people have left me. See, this part's not so bad. Um, I don't know. I think that's our bed and breakfast. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll sort of spill the salt once the ice starts to form because it is going to form tonight. Uh, yeah. The only thing I hate is uh, the council release. I don't know. They're blaming a lot of excuses for not, not desalt or salting the roads like they usually do. Um, I mean, they're saying stuff like due to Covid. <laughs> I'm sorry, come on. They can't be that busy that they can't <laughs> like ice the roads in probably the coldest city in Britain. You know, which it, it technically is. Maybe Inverness is maybe a little bit colder, but... Uh, it's just bollocks, really. It's bollocks. So, just about there. There's another hairdresser. They've always got their lights on, but no one's home. And the clouds are beginning to form, so I reckon we're going to get a bit of snow again. So. Should be alright. It's meant to snow all next week. From, well, from Tuesday right through to Saturday. And uh, so that should be fun. So I'm enjoying this time of having clear roads. That over there, it's hard to see. That's actually a school. Again, all the schools are closed until about April. So, don't know, I have a feeling we can get back till the summer. Don't want to sound pessimistic all the time, but it, it's just, you know, when you see it like this. Although, having said that, did a bit of gaming tonight with the wonderful Sarah and Warwick and it was a good laugh just before I had, I mean, I had to, I could only have time for one game because I had to get ready for work you know, the joys but yeah I'm gonna have to look in to get a new phone hopefully everyone's having a great Sunday and uh, the weekend's been good I see I might go live as I see once I get all my work done, depends what I've got to do I feel there'll be quite a bit of emailing to do. In fact, I know there is actually. Um, but, <sighs> don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And as I say, I've made a few videos of this area. Area that was pretty much alien to me until semi recently. Um, that other street where I was live, that's just a hellhole that. 
I don't know why I like walking through there. I should just like. I'll maybe do a video from the homestead next time. Oh, that somebody's getting a takeaway at the work. And this is the outside of the hotel right now, this one. I can go through the back entrance, but I don't want to freak anyone out. Oh, and that's the snow started. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Well, that's Green Giant, what am I saying? <laughs> It was meant to be Santa Claus, but then it turned out to be the Green Giant in the end. Just got in, okay. Yeah, because that's part of our block, so yeah. And that's it started, so yeah, I reckon we went far. I knew those clouds were all but ominous. So here we are. Here we are. Once again. So that's it. I hope everyone's having a great night and the lights are on. Right. Take care and I'll speak to you all maybe tonight as I say, a bit of live action or something. <laughs> Don't know why I find that funny because it wasn't, he was just a guy riding the bike. Anyway, take care.